What's up guys, so today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new tutorial video. This is going to be on how to uh, use Camtasia Studio Pro 2 on the Macintosh computers. Now this software works with both the Macintosh computers as well as Windows computers. So you can pretty much buy this uh, on multiple platforms. It's a screen recording software for both the Mac and Windows computers in which you can uh, record your screen as well as do sort of video recording with your built-in web camera. If you so choose to, um, this is going to show you guys how to get started and how to uh, import and export your files. So I have up on here Camtasia Studio Pro 2. If you want to boot it up in your Mac, uh, you're going to want to hit that icon right there. It's going to look like a little C for Camtasia. And then once that's booted up, then you're going to have your uh, software uh, set to go. Um, when you first uh, start uh, using your software, you're going to want to uh, go to activate and then activate your software. Uh, before you're able to use it, I know I had a little bit of issues recording my screen um, when I didn't do that. Um, and then after that, I fixed fixed the problem and then I was able to uh, sort of get my record screen recording software up and running. So first things first, um, you're going to want to hit that and there's going to be a little record button sort of down here. And it's going to allow you to start recording and then you're going to have a couple different options to choose whether to uh, record with your screen or you know record just with your webcam or you want to record your screen and your webcam which is a new feature that they added in the latest update uh, you can definitely do that on here um, the way you end a screen recording is you go up to here and you can hit stop recording you can pause the recording you can hit start over you know if you make some screw ups and mess ups and you want to do this all over again I'm not going to do that just because I'm recording this video for you guys um, but um, I will uh, stop the recording and I will start up a new recording and show you guys kind of how the timeline works and how to export media files and stuff on this software just because it's really easy. Um, first things first thing you need to uh, remember when you're using this ed software in order to edit. This is your viewer window. This is where when you're running through the timeline you'll get to see all your footage that you previously recorded of your screen or if you're just using the web camera that will show up there as well. Uh, so let's do that here. And bam, now that we have our timeline footage recorded and put on the timeline, we can scrub through it using the uh, little time indicator button, which you can scroll through your different footage files and, you know, um, kind of edit your footage if you so choose to. This also works as a video editor. So you can edit right through Camtasia if you feel like doing that. I use Adobe Premiere and I use After Effects a lot, so I usually just export it out and then edit through that and um, another cool feature is for the webcam um, if you have the webcam as a split screen sort of like playing video games or something similar to like what PewDiePie does or if you're just you know commenting on like an article or something you found online um, you could do move around the uh, footage in Camtasia rather than in going into Premiere and then editing both sides at the same time and then moving around that way which takes a little bit more time you can just simply drag and drop your footage pretty much anywhere you want to um, I like to have it over here to the right hand corner just because that's where I'm comfortable having it obviously if you want to move it left right down or you know center it you can do whatever you want um, but we're gonna go back to the timeline here and scrub through the footage just show you guys So once you hit the spacebar button, you can obviously play your footage and then uh, figure out what stuff you're going to cut, what stuff you're going to keep, and where you're going to put your uh, other effects and stuff in there when you go along. Um, I don't really use any of the transitions or the animations in Camtasia Studio Pro, so I'm not going to show you guys that. Maybe if I get a little bit better at using it, I can show you guys in a different video. But to uh, export your files, you're going to want to go to File, and I want to go to Share and you're going to want to go to export. Export as a web page or you can do advanced export. Um, simply you want to hit export and move it towards a specific file and actually you can export to YouTube if you want to but I prefer to edit my videos before I release them just so that I can take out the ahs, the ums, and the pauses in betweens uh, just so it looks a little bit more professional when I'm you know recording software and stuff like that in tutorials. Uh, so I'm just going to hit export on that and then once you're doing that it should export and download it in the background that way you can have your footage later and it might take about like five ten minutes sometimes a little bit less than that depending on how fast your processor is but uh, my pr processor is an i5 which works well for my videos I recommend you go an i7 when you're doing things like you know after effects and everything just because it's able to handle all your applications out at once a little bit faster and smoother and cleaner but for now this works fine with what I'm doing because 
when I'm not only doing my video editing stuff, I'm writing and doing other things, so it doesn't use up as much, um, you know, processing power as I, you know, would need to. But I do have a MacBook Pro um, with an i7 processor, which kind of doubles as my other editing system. Um, but once it's done editing or done processing, then you can drag that footage into another sort of video editing software like Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut, and then you can edit things that way. I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys out. Um, I really did enjoy sort of cutting this together and doing this tutorial for you guys. Hopefully this will help you guys, you know, start getting into Camtasia and screen recording and doing tutorial videos and like Omegle and things like that. Um, because this is what pretty much all the pros use. Now, um, another thing uh, the pros use, I'm going to do close, is they like to... Um, you know, record the Camtasia Studio Pro stuff, and then in After Effects, separate out the uh, face cam from the different people that they meet along the way. And then uh, they put, like, a banner around that. Now, that's usually done within After Effects, and that takes a lot of time to sort of create. But once you have that, then you're able to put your After Effects file into uh, After Effects and then put the video footage over it. And that's an interesting way to do that type of video footage, just cut the uh, two different people that are, you know, talking to each other. But there you go. Um, that's the long and short of Camtasia Studio Pro 2. Um, I will show you how much this is before you guys... All right, I stop recording. It was around sale for $99.50, which is around $100 plus tax. And then once you download that software, you immediately have access to all the Camtasia Studio Pro features. You can also upgrade the system if you want at a later date if you have like an older model of Camtasia 2. But for now, this works fine with me and what I'm doing, so I'm going to keep using the um, older model of Camtasia Studio Pro 2 uh, just because I really like this and I like the features and stuff and I don't really use it for much other than tutorial videos. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you like this video and want to see more in the future, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.